From the arcade to the home console, it's Ridge Racer. But is it any good? Let's have a little look. When you think of arcade racers, then you're going to think of Sega Rally or Ridge Racer. In the arcade, these were extremely cool and you couldn't walk past one without playing it. Ridge Racer was a 1993 arcade game, which a year later was released in Japan as a launch title for the PlayStation. The following year, the rest of the world would get it and would also be a launch title everywhere else. Before you even start the game you get a loading screen in which you get to play Galaxian while you're waiting. Four options will appear and the first one is your track selection. You can have beginner which is a two lap race, intermediate which is a three lap race and the top speed of your car will increase. Advance is for the professionals where the course has been extended. You can choose the transmission type from automatic to manual. Choose a car. There's four to pick from and they all have varied performance. There is the FA Racing, which is your all-rounder and probably the one you want to start with. Then the RT Q, followed by the RT Yellow Savalu, which has high acceleration but poor traction, and the RT Blue Savalu. And you can choose a music trap or just leave it on random. You can change your view by pressing triangle. There's only two views and they are full screen or following the car. You start off at the back of the queue and you must fight hard to get to the front. And as a beginner it will be hard to compete with the other racers. There are 11 others to go up against and they aren't soft. You'll be able to get past the first few without much of an issue but from position 8 onward becomes more of a challenge. You'll have to get good at driving to get past them. Drifting is possible but it's an art in itself. And when you only have the directional buttons to play with it can become a battle to keep control of the car. Cornering otherwise isn't too bad if you control your speed and braking but be careful as you touch the side of the track you'll lose a chunk of speed. This will become very annoying throughout the race, especially when you're doing really well and you clip the side, you can watch everyone sail past. Changing cars to a faster one seemed to be an improvement on getting further in the race, but again, the stability is what threw the race away. I put the losses in the race down to the player, as I've seen people breeze through this game. There are unlockable cars as you progress and reverse tracks to make a tougher challenge. The graphics are as good as it can be for the day and I actually remember them being spectacular for the time. If you think about it, the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive are still going at this point. So to see something like this was unbelievable. The soundtrack is thumping rave music and I remember this blasting out of the arcade machine and it sounded awesome. It's a good game but it's showing its age now. But still a Namco arcade classic that's for sure.